Alright guys, so I finally decided to speak in my let's plays. Sorry for the, that long delay, but we're going down a... We have to go save Tyrell, who seems to have uh, stolen... Um, he stole the sore wing, uh, an invention of um, of Ivan's. I'm sure all of the fans of the old one know Ivan. Uh, that that there is Isaac. I I wanted to mention and talk about all these stuff, but Isaac looks pretty freaking awesome. As for Garrett, I think he just grew up into a uh, a pain, more of a pain than he was when he was younger. Garrett seems to be more ma uh, mature though in this one, or at least acts that way. The way he keeps uh, sheltering Tyrell and you know scolding him and whatnot, calling him a brat. That cave that Tyrell flew to is still a hike away. I thought we could reach the cave long before it got dark. Now we're in for trouble. I never intended on taking the kids into the Tanglewood. Let's read up on the Tanglewood. This forest is set to transform at night, changing into a wood that ensnares those brave or foolish enough to enter it after dark. Well, we've never been in, a f in the forest at night either, but now we have to find Tyrell, so let's press onward. They say that, but they don't follow us. How did it suddenly turn dark? I don't know. But let's go. This is the night forest of the Tanglewoods. I don't like the looks of this. Yeah, nightfall not good. The monsters that come out at dark will be on the prowl. This will make things much more difficult for us. <sighs> this little tree system ain't bad either, but... <clears throat> I wish they would explain it more. Like he says that this wouldn't be... This will be difficult for us. Should I say happy face? That meaning I'm happy it'll be difficult? A gleeful face meaning I'm okay with it being difficult? Or the sad face that... Oh, it sucks. It's gonna be difficult. I'm gonna do gleeful. Not scared? Fighting our way down from the plateau must have given you confidence. They'd better keep their distance. They wouldn't want to mess with me and you, Isaac. I'm not sure what to do about Lucas and Karis at this point. Well, we can't just leave them behind, Isaac. Of course not, but they can't go on ahead of us. Either. Monsters will sense that they're easier prey. E easier prey? Oh, oh no, Lucas. Sh should we be worried? Should I be gleeful? Uh, should be excited? We should be worried. Um, I'll be this, this one. Buck up, Lucas. You'll need to stay on your toes now. Well then, tough times call for tough measures. We'll lend you some Dijin. I'm not gonna read up on Dijin. If you don't know that, then you don't know the basics, guys. I'm sorry. Only until we find Tyrell, however. We're very attached to our Dijin, of course. You were planning this all along, weren't you? You'll let us borrow some Dijin for a little while. Using Dijin to battle will make us much more powerful. Do you remember how to use Dijin? Yes, I do. I'm not gonna go into the tutorial, but they're gonna, uh, they're gonna make you anyway. Good, but we can never be too careful. Dijin o offered too many benefits to miss any. We should have one of our Dijin explain things. I'll have Flint explain it to you, just as he did when we first met him at the start of our very first quest. Uh oh, this is an old pal that we all love and remember. The Earth, the Jin, Flint, Flint. Look at them all in 3D. 
Okay, Isaac, you want me to explain how the gin work? You've got it. Hello, Lucas. Hello, Karis. I'm one of Isaac's Venus the Djinn. My name is Flint. I've known Isaac since the day he first left his hometown, Vale. We don't have time for reminiscing, Flint. Please, just a primer on the Djinn. Always in such a hurry. Okay, then. Short and sweet. <laughs> How to use the Djinn. We the Jinn are nature spirits. There are four types of us, Venus, Mercury, Mars, and Jupiter. We span the four elements. Venus the Jinn are from the Earth, while Mercury the Jinn come from water. And Mars the Jinn are from fire, while Jupiter the Jinn are based in wind. When you set the Jinn on someone, his class may change. In this example, these two the Jinn make Lucas a brute. And that the Jinn holder's stats, such as HP and PP, may change as well. Changing class can give you new Psi energy while cutting other Psi energy experiments. Cutting other Psi en energy. Experiment with classes to access new powers. Each Dijinni also has a unique power. Throw the in into battle and it will help you fight. Now watch out to do this. I'm going to show us a little brief little fighting system of how these Dijins work. Of course, um, I'm sure all the, the people that haven't played the old ones would want to see all this. So, yeah. Watch on, guys. I'm very pleased with how this game came out from the old versions, man. The summoning system looks great. This does actually look like it, it can be on par with the Final Fantasy game. After a Dijini fights, it goes into standby. The class in Psy Energies, it helped grant our, our, our lost until it returns to set status. Distribute your Dijin around the party and experiment with various combinations to see how they benefit each warrior. You can't pile us all in one person. We like to be shared around the whole party so everyone benefits. As I said, the genie go into standby after battling. You can also assign this status in the, the genie menu. So, why is standby useful? Because standby the genie can summon powerful spirits into battle. Anyone in your party can draw upon the pool of all the genie currently in standby. Now watch how to summon a spirit. Ramses, guardian of an immortal, uh, something. Oh, Karis defense. Look at this cinematic, like how great it looks. This is what really made them outdone them themselves with the summonings, man. All down. A flawless victory. The genie rest after summoning when done. They've returned to set status, restoring any class and stat changes to their holders. Did you understand everything I've said about the benefits of set the genie and standby the gen? I understood it all. That wraps it up then. Thanks for showing us how it's done. Good work, Flint. Good work, Flint. Okay, let's divide up the Dijin. Remember what Flint said about dividing them evenly? Yes, I do. Good, because learning how to set your Dijin is crucial. Let's hurry it up. Tyrell is waiting for us. Gather around these crystals. Ready, Karis? Ready, Lucas? Do we the Jenny each? That 
takes care of dividing up all our digin. Back when I started out, I had only one digin. -y. Thank you two already to borrow six. Heck yeah. I'm glad you're taking this seriously. Using the genie, the gen properly is important. Isaac, wait, isn't it time we talked about who would lead us into the Tanglewood? I know you said Lucas should lead, but I'm having doubts. I don't think he's ready, not for what's ahead. So Lucas shouldn't be the leader then? Leading people into battle is never easy, kids. Back in the old days, Isaac and Felix were our leaders. Let's check up on Felix. Another one of Vel's Earth Adepts led a second party that joined up with Isaac's group in the days before the Golden Sun. Felix's sister Jenna and the scholar Craden were others from Vale in his party. He left his homeland and has not been seen since. And you know your dad has never been the easiest guy to get along with. But we've always managed to set aside our differences. We're a great team, especially in battle. What's he's wandering off looking at? What's on your mind, Isaac? It looks like something caught your eye. Isaac? Hmm? Huh? I said what's on your mind? I can usually read him like a book. Even if it is a thick book half the time. Hmm, yes. Thick book. Funny. Now, if you're done talking, I've had a thought. About the leader. About the leader? Who's it going to be? Stop beating around the bush. Say it already. Lucas will continue leading, of course. Just brilliant. We're back where we started. You want Lucas to lead. Garrett, stop. He'll lead, but now we now we'll help out in battle. But my son isn't ready to order around veterans like us, are you, Lucas? I'm getting frustrated too. Their arguing is making my head hurt. Just listen, Garrett, and I will only assist in battle if you really need help. But you'll still guide only Karras in battle, Lucas. So you mean that we'll jump in only if we think that Lucas and Karras need us? Precisely. Seasoned warriors like us can swoop in fast if things get out of control. Okay then, you two should be fine. Why does he have the permanent grin on his face? Of course they will, Garrett. Now let's get moving. You heard him, boss. Alright, Tangle Woods. There's a chest here. Oh, look who we're fighting with now. Well, we're not controlling them, but they even hold their weapons in the same stance as the old games. Which is pretty awesome. And now we have some cool Psy energy. Oh, those nice drones. I love Karis' whirlwind though, it takes them all out pretty quickly. Uh, these things survived. Fireball. This will be all Isaac, right? Oh no, they're not going to jump in unless we get really hurt. So let's take them out. Level 2. Level 2 with Karis as well, nice. Let's see. I want to get to that chest. Alright, I'm ended here. And then we'll continue exploring the Tangled Woods in the next part.